Dorian Penaglu from DorianPenaglu.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this picture of just an average selfie done by my friend John who edited I mean who sent this photo in for our raw edit uh, I'm going to show you how to make this selfie into a really cool and gritty looking photograph so first thing we're going to do to give this a really desired gritty effect take the clarity and we're going to boost it all the way up as you can see just from that little movement it already looks a lot better so now that we got the clarity up what we want to do is we're going to drop the vibrance a bit I'd say about 14 because we really don't want any of this yellow to show but we also don't want to take away from the skin tones and then we're going to drop the saturation just a little bit so that kind of grays everything out giving you that grayed look so from here we're going to just take the black levels and we're going to go pretty far down on the black levels just because we want this to be a little bit darker we don't really really want to show a lot of the bottom of the beard we'll give it a little gritty bit look so now with that we're going to bring the whites going to bring those down a bit so that we can get to see a little bit more detail in his face and we're going to also add exposure to the lights a little bit later but we're not going to do that right now next thing we're going to do is bring up the shadows just a little bit to <coughs> correct what we did with the blacks down here on his chin as you can see it was pretty dark over here on this side so you bring the shadows up it actually brings it out just a little bit and you get some more detail in the hair which is good the highlights we're going to come down pretty far on them just because if you look what happens with the highlights all his pores come out on top of his head you can see the side of his face his scar on the side the scar here you can see all that once you bring the highlights down it really defines it a lot more so now of course we're going to bump the contrast up as you can see the photo got a lot darker but I like where we're at at the contrast we're going to come up a little bit more on the exposure I don't like how this is blowing out but we'll fix that later so now with the temperature being that this photo is really yellow we want to kind of bring it to like a cold feeling a cold gritty feeling so we're actually going to take the temperature thing and we're going to go pretty blue not we actually we'll go one more up so that's a little bit more yellow and then we actually drop the vibrance just a little bit more so now this photo is, is starting to get to where we need it we're going to hit it with some sharpness to bring out some of those pores figure about 70 sharpness and we're going to do about 15 uh, luminous noise reduction just because I don't want too much of his pores to come out but I don't want all the pores to be so dominant if you see like how we go on this cheek here <coughs> you'll see there's a lot of like area where you can see his pores if you take the luminance off it actually eh, it's not a really good example on, on his forehead here you can see each pore pretty much you hit the luminance up and you'll see it actually takes a lot of it away so we still want some there but not too too much we're going to enable the profile corrections and we're also going to remove chromatic aberration and then we're also going to add a vignette we want this picture to be like a dark photo so now we're going to take this uh, the radiant filter we're going to make a circle around his head drag the circle down and with this we're actually going to come down on the highlights make sure you hit invert mask right here you're going to come down on the highlights just to kind of bring the cheeks back we could actually bring this to the center a little bit more we could up the contrast just a little and we're going to up the exposure just a little also just so we get more detail out of his face we can go higher on clarity but I don't think it will look too good and it looks alright. We'll actually go pretty high on the clarity. Everything else in my opinion looks pretty good. The last thing we're going to want to do to this photo is the adjustment brush. We're going to use this to paint his eyes to make his eyes have a little bit more white color. So with the adjustment brush you want to go in close. Start at the corner of the eye. Work your way down the lid all the way to the back up to the top and then start circling on the inside. <coughs> Just so you know you get the whole eye filled out. We're going to hit it with exposure. Let's try about 50. It's going to look crazy bright on here, but when you zoom out, you'll see the color actually really pops. So, yeah, that popped really nice. So, we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. 
Again, start from the lid and then work your way towards the back. Once you get to the back, work on the bottom and then fill in the middle. Just because we really want the eyes to pop in a photo like this where everything's kind of desaturated, we want the eyes to be like a focal point so you look at the eyes and then you start looking further into the image to find more information out about it. So we're going to do 50 on this one as well. We're going to zoom out. We'll see how they both look. I think they look pretty good. The eye on the left, I just want to bring it down just a hair. We'll do 40 on the eye on the left. Just because it looks a little bit better like that. Because I think that one's brighter. But as you can see, we went from this boring image of just a regular old selfie to this gritty kind of Tom Hanks in Lost. Man's growing a beard with a solid mustache. Hanging out with volleyballs. Look. So... This has been a raw edit from Dorian Penaglu at DorianPenaglu.com. If you guys have any questions or comments or want to submit your own photos, just say so down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and like this. And see ya.